I'm Lieutenant Thomas Aiken. Today's date is December 15, 2020, and I am located in my office at the Port Arthur Police Department. For the audio, can you please state your name? Uh, Kimberly Kilpatrick. Okay. How were you formally employed? Uh, the captain, Port Arthur Police Department. Okay. And when did you retire? Uh, October 29, 2021. Uh, I know I can't see you, but um, <laughs> I will ask you to, to raise your, your right hand. <laughs> Do you swear or affirm that the statement you're about to make is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, so as I mentioned in a, the previous call, that the reasoning for the, the investigation was your uh, the condition that your um, desktop computer, Surface Pro, and cell phone were found to be in when... when uh, I think it was like the day before your retirement. Um, they were found to have been returned to factory settings. So, um, Chief Marino then instructed that a, a formal investigation be conducted, and, and he assigned me to, to do that. So, did you return or, or reset your your desktop computer Surface Pro and uh, the city issued cell phone back to factory settings? Uh, yes. I thought I was helping. Okay. <laughs> um, all right, so that, I mean, that was going to be my next question. I mean, why, why did you re return them to factory settings? What, what was your intention? Well, when I was there that week, I was, um, I, I didn't have much really going on those last couple of days. So I was sitting there thinking, okay, well, I can you know, take my files and my photos that I, you know, want to take home with me and stuff. So I was downloading those and I'm trying to figure out like how to, because I gave, I think I gave my cell phone up first and I reset that one because I knew somebody was going to be using it and it had like, I had contacts on there that were from like Lieutenant Wright and they were like, all jacked up, like people were entered in there wrong and stuff, so I didn't want it to be confusing or a mess when somebody else got it, because it was like a lot to go through and try to so delete were, them or fix there were, it. Yeah, there were still contacts in that phone from, uh, you said from when Lieutenant Wright had that phone assigned to him? Yeah, because I just got wow. the phone handed over to me. Okay. So... So I just thought, okay, well, I'll reset it because there's nothing to save on there because the text messages are on the server with the city. So I was like, okay, so I can just fix this so whoever takes it can just take it and run with it. Okay. And that's basically what I did with my Surface Pro, which I didn't have a whole lot on the Surface Pro um, right. for well, work or anything. Let's talk about <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's talk about the, the phone first since you, you, okay. you mentioned that first. Um, now, James Hicks um, ended up pulling emails and on the, uh, the 26th, which was Tuesday, October 26th. Um, it showed that you received an email from Apple uh, advising that you had um, reset your Apple ID password. And then it, that was followed by another email from Apple advising that the Find My app uh, was disabled on the phone. So was it was it Tuesday that that you you did the reset on the phone? Yeah, that was yeah that was first because I wasn't I wasn't using the phone. Okay. And then I put that in. I think it was Captain Fisher's mailbox. I put it in. Okay. So. Uh, to, to reset your Apple ID, um, but was that all done straight through the, the the cell phone, or did you have to send a separate email to Apple to, to get your password reset? Uh, actually, I don't remember having to reset the password. Was it a verification code? Maybe I don't remember. I don't remember resetting the Apple password, but yeah. All right. Now, other than the. Uh, uh, the contacts that were on the phone were, were there any any files? I mean, did you have any files saved in the uh, like ebooks or anything like that? Ebooks? I don't even know what that is. Okay. <laughs> um, and then there were just um, uh, 
I assumed you had uh, other apps like the um, uh, probably the the 3SI, um, like Workday apps. Those those were previously on there. Uh, you know, like I the, had yeah, I had 3SI yeah. Okay. But that I think that's a that was a link, right? I think that's like a web link. Yeah, I I, I always remember that. You know, there, there's an icon that um, I thought showed up on on the phone. Oh, I would get. See, I didn't have. I don't think I had access to all. I just had. Um, maybe I did. I don't remember. But they would always just send a text message. It was always text, like right. this. This the, thing the, is moving the tracking into alerts. Barry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, but you're saying you didn't have any. There were no department files saved on on your phone. No, I don't. I didn't save anything on that phone. I don't think. There was some audios, but they were already uploaded, like into an IA or something. If I had it. Okay. All right. Now, regarding the um, your desktop computer, um, mm -hmm. do you remember what day you, you set that back to factory settings? Um. Let's see. Maybe Wednesday. Because I was out Thursday, and then I was back Friday, but I didn't go in the office Friday, so I think it would have been that Wednesday. All right. How did you get the uh, the desktop computer set back to the factory settings? I mean, what what method did you use? Oh, well, I just went into the thing, um, into settings, and I hit whatever it was to, like, reset, because I thought, you know, to remove myself as a user... So, I was resetting it through that. Okay, you, you didn't, you didn't uh, like reboot it with with a flash drive plugged in, anything like that. Uh, do what? No, <laughs> like, <laughs> no. I used my flash drive to save my photos that I had on there, but right. yeah, that I saved photos, and then there was like some personal uh, paperwork, divorce stuff. From uh, Rick, but uh, but yeah, no, that was that was it. And then I just went into settings to uh, reset. I thought I was like deleting my account off of it because everything was web based, so I didn't need much or need anything on there. So all right, like about how many how many steps did it take for for you to to accomplish that? You know, but once you went into settings, I mean how. Uh, about if you can remember about how many how many steps did you have to go through to get it set back? Uh, I thought I thought it was like two or three. Like I just followed the prompt. Now was that something you you researched on um, uh, on your own through the internet, or did did somebody tell you you, you could do it that way? Uh, no. It, well, I just figured it was in settings to see if I could do that. So there was no no assistance from from anybody else in, in doing that. No, no. Okay. <clears throat> Did you happen to save? Um, I know you said you saved some some of your personal stuff. Mm -hmm. um, did you back up any of the the department files to um, um, the cloud or or anything? Or did you save any department any of the department files to a a flash drive as as a backup. Uh, department files. I mm, I'd have to even look at. It. I don't think I was saved because I didn't really have a lot for the like stuff. I guess. I mean, there's stuff on there, but like everything, like I said, was in IE Pro or like email or memos that were attached inside of like files. Okay. So. Um. The filing cabinet in in that office, and I think there were um, in the desk drawer. There's, you know, one or two of the drawers have some hanging files. Mm -hmm. did, did you clear those out? Uh, yeah, yeah. That was just a bunch of like crap in there, accumulated over. But there, I didn't have. Files and the one file I did have, I gave to Heather to put into um, um, starts with an A. I can't think of it. 
but like the IA room because it was uh, the which one was that? That was um, Roxanne's IA, I believe. Okay. All right. Um, is there anything else uh, you feel is important that I, I have not asked you about or that, that you want to mention? Uh, no. No. Okay. That will conclude the interview. Our time is 1423 hours. 1423 hours.